I've had a few messages about people asking about unit one. I have unit one principles of computer science almost done, but it's not done yet. I'm still working on the PowerPoints and some code and some stuff I want to show. But what I can do in the meantime, because I know some people have exams relatively soon, I can show you how you could study if you're not getting much help anywhere else. I'll put the unit one spec on my website. So I'll put the link in the description to where you can go to get the spec directly from my website. And as you can see, this is unit one spec. It has nothing else in this document, but the unit one stuff. If you scroll down to page three of this document, document, it will start giving the content breakdown to so the essential content. So let me zoom in and explain. So for example, the very first topic on this document in the essential content is called computational thinking, and it gives you the different sections within the computational thinking. So what you can do, let's say you have no idea what decomposition is. What I would recommend is have Google Gemini open and have chat GPT open as well. They're both free. If you have an email address, you can create an account for free for both of them. So what I would do come in here and let's just say, now I don't think you need to research much on computational thinking. Just just because for each one of these different sections within computational thinking, for example, decomposition, it gives you all the information you need to try and understand what decomposition is. But let's just say for argument's sake, you don't think it's detailed enough. You don't think it's simple enough. What you can do, what I would suggest and recommend you do, use Google Gemini. It's completely free. It's Google's AI. It's our LLM. But anyways, you use Google's AI and use ChatGPT as well. And what I'm going to do is let's say I'm going to copy all of this and I'm going to go to Gemini. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, please explain this in very simple terms, then I'm simply going to paste it, spelled this wrong, paste it. And what it's going to do is going to go ahead and explain to me exactly what I need. And furthermore, what you can do once it's done that you can click on the more button here, then you can click listen. And what it will do, it will read it out to you. So for me personally, when I'm trying to understand something, I close my eyes, I have it read it to me, and then it just makes perfect sense because then I can visualize what's happening. If you go to chat GPT, let me copy the exact same question Copy this, go to chat GPT. And by the way, to copy, I simply highlight with my mouse then on my keyboard I do control hold control down and press C for copy then I'm going to go to chat GPT click in the box and hold control down again so keep holding it down then simply press V for Victor and that's going to paste it I'm going to press enter it's going to do more or less the same thing it's going to give me more or less the same type of information so I'm going to go back to Gemini for now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on those dots again then I'm going to click on listen and I'm going to have it read everything then I'm going to go to chat GPT and have it do exactly the same thing I'll do maybe one or two more examples just to show you guys the power of these LLMs and how you can actually use them to revise. Let's listen to Gemini's version. Absolutely. Imagine you have a big puzzle. Decomposition is like these steps. One, look at the whole puzzle. What's the picture? What are the main parts? That's identifying and describing. Two, separate the edge pieces. Then, sort the rest by color or shape. That's breaking down into steps. Three, put the edge together first, then work on each section of color. That's making structured steps. 4. Show someone the finished puzzle. Explain how you did it. That's communicating to others. In short, decomposition means taking something big and complicated, breaking it into smaller, easier parts, and then understanding how those parts fit together. Does that make sense? Personally, I don't think that was a very good definition or explanation other than the very last section here. It was a bit convoluted and long, but okay, now let me go over to chat GPT. It has more or less the same information. So let me click on the microphone here that says read aloud. So I'm using this on a desktop on a mobile phone. I don't know how this would work. I wouldn't recommend using a mobile phone anyway, because then you're going to have to be typing things out. Whereas on the PDF, because it's text, you can simply copy it on a computer, paste it in. I'm not saying you cannot do it on a phone, but it'll be a lot quicker on a computer. Press this to play aloud or to read aloud. Decomposition is a way to simplify complex things by breaking them into smaller, more manageable parts. Here's how it works. Identifying and describing problems and processes. You start by figuring out what the problem is or what process you're looking at. Breaking down problems and processes into distinct steps. You then split the big problem or process into smaller, clear steps or parts. Describing problems and processes as a set of structured steps. Once you've broken it down, you list these steps in a logical order, making it easier to follow. Communicating the key features of problems and processes to others. Finally, you explain these key steps to others so they understand the main points of the problem or process. In short, decomposition helps you take something complicated and make it simpler 
by dividing it into smaller, easier to handle pieces. I think that was a much better definition or description versus Google Gemini. But again, sometimes Gemini will give you better answers. Sometimes ChatGPT will give you better answers. There are more LLMs, but these are the ones that I trust the most, maybe just because of marketing, but they work very well for me. And I would suggest and recommend you use them as well. If you're not inclined to use these, you could also use one called Claude AI. That's free as well. And there's another one called Copilot. That's Microsoft's free one. It's not as good as the others, but it does give some decent answers. So again, you have Google Gemini, ChatGPT, Claude AI, that's C-L-A-U-D-E, and we have Microsoft Copilot. Use all of them. To be fair, I haven't really looked much at the exam questions. I was going to do that after I finished the PowerPoints, but let's just say I'm down to C2 where it says arithmetic operations on the spec. So I'm going to copy all of this and I'm going to paste this into Gemini again. And I'm going to ask it, please explain what each of these mean in detail and also give me an example of each of them in Python. So fingers crossed, you can do everything at once. So you can get a decent explanation for each. Obviously, we know what addition is, subtraction, division, uh, multi multiplication, modulus division is simply remainder division. So it gives you only the remainder. We know what the relational operators are. So less than, greater than, equal to, less than or equal to, so on and so forth. But if we can get a Python example of it, that might make it more concrete in your mind because you might have been programming in Python or C or whatever language your school is using for quite a while. So I'm going to go to Gemini and I'm going to say, please explain each of the below items and also give me an example for each in Python 3. Then I'm going to paste this. I spell explain wrong. Paste this. Then I'm going to copy this before I do anything. Run that one. Then go to chat GPT. Do exactly the same thing. Run that one. I'm only going to use these two for now because they're the only ones that give you um, the option to read it out loud. I don't think Cloud AI has it. My Microsoft Copilot definitely doesn't have it. All right. This is perfect. Now, this might not be the best use case for this, but again, it gives me a really good indication of what this thing can do. So let's say I wanted to know how to do addition in Python. It creates two variables. It creates another variable called sum and it adds them up together. This is perfect. It goes through every single one of the things that was on the list. And if I look at the list again, where was the list? Uh, we had addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, modulus division, relational operators, Boolean operators, date and time. It, it gives a decent example for every single thing on the list. And I think this is quite chat GPT does more or less exactly the same thing. So I don't think we need to worry too much about which one is better. They both give you decent results. I'm going to stop at two things instead of three for this and try and explain what I think the unit one exam is going to be. I don't have any exam questions yet. I'm going to try and get some from a friend of mine because I don't have my login to this system anymore. I won't be able to get them quickly enough. So let me just try and explain what I think is going to happen. So every single word on this spec is something that could potentially come up in the exam. Some of you are not going to be happy with this, but you will have to understand what every single thing here means. So this is why I suggest because I haven't finished creating my PowerPoints yet. My PowerPoints are going to be going through every single section of this spec, explaining what it is, why it's important, and possibly how to do it in maybe Python and C. But at the moment, it's not finished. So what I would suggest you do is go through every single section. So let's say we have V2 here. You have no idea what flowcharts are. So you're going to copy this section here. You're going to paste it into Google Gemini again or and chat GPT. And you're going to ask it, please explain to me what each of these items mean and give me an example. Um, and what you might get for Google Gemini, I know this for a fact, it will give you links to other websites that explain this in detail. And obviously, if you don't get an answer from there, go to YouTube and simply type in flowcharts process, flowcharts decisions, or simply type in what are flowcharts and how to use them. You'll get some decent videos explaining what they are as well. Really sorry I couldn't help anymore, but my content is coming. Good luck to anyone doing the exam before I release my content. <laughs>